Well, hey friends, it's Dawn. I wanted to bring you a video as a follow-up to my very popular clinical solutions video. So if you are new here, my name is Dawn. I am an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay Cosmetics, and this channel is all about bringing you information, education, tutorials, and lots of fun stuff with our Mary Kay line of products. And a while back, uh, it was the end of January of 2021, Mary Kay launched a brand new product called Clinical Solutions. And I did a video about that that has been very, very popular. Actually, it is my most viewed video to date as of the time I'm recording this. So the Mary Kay Clinical Solutions, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the product because if you want to know more about this product, I'm going to link the video up here and you can check it out there. Um, but what I wanted to do was do a quick follow up with this product. So this product is designed to help reverse and prevent the visible signs of aging. And when I started using it, I was super excited because I really wanted to see a noticeable difference in my skin. So one of the things I did was the Skin Analyzer app, and I also took pictures. And then what I tried to do is during the eight week retinization period, and that is the period of time to adjust your skin to using the pure retinol, I tried to take pictures pretty much every week when I was thinking about it. May not have remembered every single week out of the eight weeks, but at the end of the eight week process, I didn't see a significant difference in my skin. Now, I did tell my customers, we won't all see a significant improvement in eight weeks. The eight weeks is just the retinization period. So what that is, is that is designed to help your skin adjust to using the retinol. So a lot of women are not going to see the results until week 10, week 12, or even beyond. So I went ahead and continued to take some pictures into week 12, and I try to do a little video segment here and there throughout the process. I am currently at week 14, um, but I wanted to film a little bit of intro to kind of give you some idea of what is getting ready to come. So I'm gonna give you a compilation of a few of those videos I did, a little bit of pictures. So for me, the thing that I noticed the most improvement on was the texture of my skin and the evenness of my skin tone. Honestly, I don't have a lot of severe wrinkles, and I think that's because I've been using the Mary Kay skincare since I was in my early 20s, and as soon as Mary Kay had anti-aging skincare available, I started using it. So I was in my 20s when I started using our TimeWise line of products, so I already was pretty happy with my skin as far as wrinkles and the wrinkle severity. Of course, my skin is not going to be completely wrinkle-free because I am in my late 40s, but I didn't feel like I needed to see a huge improvement in that area, and I really didn't. And so for me, the difference was really in the texture and the um, just overall complexion of my skin. So that's where you're going to see the difference um, when you look at my before and after pictures. And I also did some screenshots from my Skin Analyzer app throughout that process as well. Now, I did have a few reactions. So I really didn't have very much trouble using the retinol on my face, but I found that my neck was particularly sensitive to the retinol. So that is an area that I do suggest if you want to use the retinol on your neck that you do test a small spot and that you retinize just like the rest of your face. And after I had some reaction on my neck, I actually decided that I really wasn't going to use it on my neck at all. And um, a couple of weeks ago, I just had some extra, I guess on my hands, I really wasn't paying attention. And so I had done my retinol on my face and then I was applying the rest of my skincare, which includes, I apply my skincare to my neck and my decollete. And I ended up having a huge reaction. My neck was really inflamed for 
probably five days. It was very itchy. I had a lot of red blotchiness on there. And so one thing that I have started to do, actually been applying my skincare to my neck and decollete area before I even apply my skin, my uh, retinol to the rest of my face. That way there's no chance of me having retinol on my hands and applying it because I just have that reaction. Now, not everyone is going to react that way, but my neck does does not like retinol and it is so uncomfortable that redness and blotchiness and it's super super itchy it was my whole neck um, and it was just very uncomfortable. I did want to tell you that in case you happen to notice those same things. Um, but overall, I love this product. I have been very, very happy with it. Love how my skin looks. I feel like I don't need to wear as much foundation anymore. Just the overall texture of my skin is improved. So I definitely recommend giving this a try unless you um, are on our clear proof line. Again, that's the one line that you don't want to uh, use it with, but I've had really great feedback from my customers. They are loving it. And I think that if you have not been a regular user of skincare your entire you know, adult life, I think if you, um, you know, kind of have been off and on with it or just now getting into a really good skincare routine, I think you're gonna see significant improvement quicker. Um, but I think if you're like me and you've used a really good skincare line for a very long time, your skin is already in probably really great, um, you know, condition. And so you may not see as much of a noticeable uh, difference right away. So just keep at it. Again, it's not only going to reverse the signs of aging that we have now, but it's going to prevent the signs of aging. So even if you're younger and you're not really struggling with this visible signs of aging yet, it's still worth investing in and using on a regular basis. So now that my skin is retinized, I can use it up to five times a week. And I probably do it maybe three to four times a week. Um, so just one note, if you do retinize your skin or you're using it on a regular basis, you know, anywhere between I'd say two to five nights a week, and then for some reason you decide to stop using it completely and you go for weeks or months, you may need to re-retinize your skin and instead of just immediately picking it back up. So if you took a break for let's say three months for just whatever reason, I don't know, sometimes you know we just get out of the habit of something. So if you get out of the habit of using it and um, you know you haven't used it for a while, start to retinize your skin with that eight week process. And again, thanks so much for watching my video about this product. I was just completely blown away by how many of you watched it and how many of you subscribed. And I just wanna say thank you. So here is my retinization journey. All right, we are back on week Three, those first two weeks is a pump of the retinol 0.5 diluted with that calm and restore facial milk. So we mix them together and apply them to the skin one time per week. We do the same night each week. So I've been doing Thursday nights and it is the following Thursday. So it is uh, February 18th for me and this is week three. So I've been tr keeping track on my tracker. Here was the first two weeks, and then I just wrote that in just a couple you know, minutes ago. Um, so I am ready to start on week three, and weeks three and four are gonna be the same. So with that, um, we are going to do one pump of the uh, retinol 0.5, and then follow that with the Calm and Restore Facial Milk. So remember this eight week retinization process is designed to help your skin slowly adjust. So I wanted to tell you about just a few little things that I did notice. So I didn't have any reaction as far as redness or peeling or burning or stinging or anything like that. So luckily I didn't have any issues with that. Um, I did get a few little blemishes up here. I wanna say it was the first week. And then last week there was like a little blemish here, but the first week 
week I got a couple up here and then this week I got one here um, or with last week's application. So I'm hoping that with this, um, this week I won't have any type of reaction or any type of irritation or anything like that. And so far my customers, I've been checking in with them. They've been checking in with me and we haven't had any issues with any one of them having any reactions or redness or peeling or anything like that. So luckily we are all doing great with this retinization process and we're going to continue for the eight weeks and so that way our skin can slowly adjust. But let me go ahead and grab out my retinol. So this is that retinol 0.5 and don't forget it's always one pump. Doesn't matter if you're new in the process during this eight weeks or continued use. We will never use more than one pump because it's not going to help anymore. It's, you know, not going to be more effective and you have the greater risk of creating some irritancy, which one pump is all you need and that's all you're ever going to need. So I'm going to apply the one pump and I'm just going to go ahead and I did wash my face about 10 or 15 minutes ago. One of the things to think about if you do have, um, drier skin, you probably want to wait the little bit longer period, like that 10 to 15 minutes, because what we're doing is the reason we're waiting is we're allowing the natural oils to come back to our skin. So if you have the combination of oily skin, like I do, you probably can wait, you know, the, the shorter end, the five to 10 minutes, but the drier your skin is just wait a little bit longer. So I just applied that all over been with it going on pure. I'm not noticing any kind of uh, feeling on there. I'm not noticing any kind of tingling or anything like that. So it feels really good. And that's all over. So one thing, um, I'm not sure if I talked about this, but our neck and chest. So your neck is super thin. The skin right there is really, really, really thin. So a lot of people can't tolerate retinol on the neck. So what you want to do is if you want to use it on your neck, you want to test a very small area and see how you do and make sure you're diluting it. And then you may even want to dilute it with a little bit more. Um, so that's something you want to really think about is just test a small spot, see how you do before you apply it to your whole neck. Um, and then the chest is the same way. So I actually have been using it on my chest. So I'm going to do another um, pump for my chest. I've been using it on my chest and I haven't had any issues. I have some little wrinkles right here from when I sleep on my side. And so I've been doing it on my chest and no issues with me. I don't know if you can even see those wrinkles right there. Um, but I have not tried my neck yet. So um, when and if I do that, I will let you all know. So I'm going to apply the Calm and Restore Facial Milk next. And so I'm just going to do a couple squirts of that. And remember, you can use this as much as you want to. You can use it um, throughout the day. You can use it, um, you know, morning and evening. You can use it over top of your makeup. And anytime you need a little bit of calming for your skin, it has those great oils in it. So it's going to be, um, you know, really moisturizing. So even though I didn't put the retinol on my neck, I'm just going to carry this onto my neck and down into my decollete area. So that is it for week three for the retinol 0.5 and that calm and restore facial milk. I'm going to continue on with the rest of my um, skincare. Oh, and I did not mention before I turned the camera on, I had already put my eye cream on. So make sure you always put your eye cream on first before you put the retinol on because we don't want to put retinol around our eye area and we might have leftover residue from the retinol on our fingertips and then if we were to apply our eye cream um, we might accidentally get that retinol around so make sure that you apply your eye cream first i had done that off camera so uh should have mentioned it all right and i'm gonna hop off here to finish up the rest of my skincare i am gonna apply the uh volume firm lifting serum and then that time wise repair uh night treatment with retinol. You want to make sure that after this set that you're applying your moisturizer and you can use um, this serum or any of the other serums, just not that serum plus C. So, and make sure to avoid your exfoliation products during this eight week retinization period. So that's it for uh, week three. And I will be back with you guys um, on the next application. It probably will be week five because week four is the exact same as week three. So anyway, I'll be back.
Okay, so here we are week five. So I am getting ready to start my application, but this is the week that we get to do two applications in a week. So week one and two, and we did one pump mix with the Calm and Restore Facial Milk. Weeks three and four, we did one pump followed with the Calm and Restore Facial Milk. And we're going to continue with that one pump always, always and only one pump. But we are going to be able to do it twice a week now. So I have been doing my regimen on Thursday nights, which tonight is Thursday. It is week five. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding in Mondays. So that way that'll be my twice a week. Now I haven't had any reaction to my skin as far as tingling or redness or peeling or flakiness or anything like that. I haven't had any additional dryness and maybe it's because my skin is combination of oily. So I don't get dry skin very often. I think maybe somebody that was doing this regimen that had really dry skin might have issues with that. I have not been having any issues with dryness or peeling or anything. And again, no tingling, no redness. My face doesn't feel hot, any of that. I've heard that from some other people too. Um, my issue is I'm breaking out. So I am getting like breakouts. I have some here and I had one here a couple weeks ago. Um, I have some here. So I've been breaking out and that is one of the normal, I also have some spots up here. That is one of the normal reactions. So if you break out, that's okay. Like, so what happens is this is such a deep treatment. It's like bringing all of the stuff that, that's under the surface because that retinol is exfoliating the skin and, and, um, turning over the cells. So remember, like our cell turnover slows down, our collagen production slows down, and this is really amping up that cell turnover rate. And so all of that stuff that's been lying dormant under the skin is going to be coming and working its way towards the surface of the skin. So these are the retinol uglies and it is, you know, the, the um, breakouts and stuff. So again, not everyone's gonna get this, but it's happening to me. Okay, well, I just finished week 12 of my retinization journey. So with the product, a lot of times people won't see results in the eight weeks. It might be 10, 12, or even a little bit longer. So for me, it has been 12 weeks. So I started, today is actually like the day one of week 13, if you will. So I started on um, February 4th and today is April 29th. So it has been a full 12 weeks that I have been using the product. So I don't feel like for me, I have a huge noticeable difference as far as like wrinkles or anything like that. But I also don't feel like I had a huge issue with that. So, you know, my skin, I do have some wrinkles, obviously, uh, you know, I am in my 40s and I do have, you know, when I smile, I have my laugh lines and I have some lines up here. I do have lines on my face. So I'm not saying I'm completely wrinkle free, but I don't feel like I have a ton of wrinkles. I don't have a ton of deep wrinkles. So for me, I don't feel like I saw like a huge improvement as far as, you know, that is concerned. But then again, I also didn't have a ton that I needed improvement on, if that makes sense. And then um, same with the dark spots. You know, I have a couple of spots that may have a little bit of darkness, but I don't have any, you know, major dark spots. I don't have any major discoloration. I do feel like overall my skin tone is more even. I feel like I haven't had to wear as much concealer or as much foundation. Um, I feel like I can get away with a lighter coverage because I do feel like overall my skin tone is really even. But I feel like one of the things I've noticed a lot is the texture of my skin. So I think overall, I would say the evenness and the texture of my skin is really improved. So um, that is what I have personally noticed instead of maybe like the wrinkle severity or the, the dark spots. So, you know, for everyone, it's going to be different and it's really going to depend on where you start and what your skin looks like and, you know, where you have those problem areas. So, um, and I'm going to obviously continue to work, um, you know, using the product. I'm not going to stop using it. So, um, since week eight, I've been able to use it up to five times a week. I will say that, um, a couple weeks ago, I was like, 
I think I exfoliated my skin and it might've been last week. I exfoliated my skin and then I applied it, which you don't want to do during the retinization period. And although it didn't really like irritate my skin, I did notice I broke out after that. So if you remember earlier in this um, process during the eight weeks, I was having some issues with my skin breaking out. So I would say for me, I'm going to stick um, to exfoliating on opposite nights. And the other thing is my neck. So in week six, Seven, I had some issues with my neck. I applied it to my neck and it like irritated me. And so the other day, um, I think I really wasn't purposely applying it to my neck, but I think just having a little bit extra on my hands. So that's one thing that I really noticed is um, one of the recommendations is that you um, do your eye cream first so you don't accidentally put the retinol around our eyes. So I think that's what's happening with my neck. I think, you know, I'm putting the retinol on my face and then I still have it on my hands. And so when I'm applying my skincare to my neck, I think it's just, it's still that there's extra product on my hands. So I need to either wash my hands or I need to do all of the skincare on my neck first and then come in and then do my face. So I've got to figure that out, but I definitely, my neck does not like this retinol. So thank God for the calming milk because it really started getting irritated a couple of days ago and then it's just gotten kind of gotten worse as the weeks gone by. So um, I do have the calming milk and I put that on a few times throughout the day. So that's been helping with the irritation. Obviously it hasn't gone away, but um, it's been helping with the irritation. So I'll post the before and after pictures from week one to week 12. Again, I'm gonna continue to use this product. Um, I'm not stopping anytime soon. But once your skin is retinized, you can use it up to five times a week. Like I said, I do love this product. I love how my skin looks. I love how it feels. Even if you can't see like a noticeably difference between picture of week one and the picture of week 12, I still know that there's a difference. I don't know, it's kind of like when you're trying to lose weight and maybe you step on the scale and you don't really see a huge noticeable difference on the scale, but your clothes are fitting you differently and they're fitting you better. I feel like that's kind of how I feel about this. So, you know, when I'm doing my pictures, the before and after, and I'm comparing them, I'm not necessarily seeing this like huge change, but I know that there's something different and I know that my skin looks better. Um, and I know that it just, it feels better. And I think a lot of that, like I said earlier, is like the texture difference um, which maybe not you know may not show up really good on a photo so um, but anyway so that is my week 12 uh, retinization results with the new Mary Kate clinical solution so if you have been using this product I would love for you to share um, some of your results below I don't think we can post pictures in uh, YouTube comments but feel free to, um, you know, comment and tell me, and then, you know, maybe go on over to your social media and like post some pictures and tag me. Cause I would love to see your before and after pictures and, um, those results. So make sure you're following me, not only here, but on social media. And I love to continue this conversation over there on Instagram or Facebook. All right, well, thanks for following along. And again, the clinical solutions is that Retinol 0.5 and the Calm and Restore Facial Milk. And these are sold separately as well. So if you are using the set and you run out of one before the other, you can just restock that one product. If you do buy the set, however, you do save a little bit of money. So that's always a bonus. Um, but I am so glad that you joined me today and I will be back in my next video and I'll see you then. Bye friends.